Hey there, I need you instructions. Quiet. Here's some instruction. Here's some instructions on how to connect the L298 motor driver to your robot if it already has built-in motors. Just like this RTT2. Right? You're crazy. EasyRobot.com. Personal robotics for everyone. Okay, to get started, you're going to need a soldering iron, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a pair of cutters, some ROHS, lead-free solder, we all want you to stay safe, the L298 motor controller, five peripheral cables, and because you're going to be using ROHS tin solder, this is the tip tinner. You can get these at most electronic shops, and it's great for cleaning the end of your soldering iron when you're not using lead-based solder. You're not going to need the male ends of the peripheral cables, so we can cut those off. And out of the four cables, only one of them needs all three wires. So the rest, we only need the white wire. So we'll cut the red and black wire, and we'll strip those back. Now it's a good idea to find out what distance you need between the controller and the motor driver. So it's best to measure it out first and then cut. Now let's strip your wires. Let's prepare to tin the wires by twisting them so they're not all frayed at the end. Now clean off the end of your tip if you have any of the tip cleaner. Wash the end of your soldering iron off. Now let's tin the end of the wires. Proper soldering technique. Put a little bit of solder on the end of the tip, connect it to the wire so the wire now absorbs the temperature, and you feed the solder into the wire. Remember for best results keep your tip nice and clean. It's a tight squeeze but you'll need to tin these pins also. Trim the ends of your wire because they don't need to be very long. On the cable we left the three wires, the ground is going to connect to ground on the L298, the red is going to connect to plus five on the L298, and the white wire is going to connect to the N4 on the 298. Now connect the other leftover wires to the other imports. You should now have all of the white wires on the peripheral cables connected to the input on the L298 motor driver. It doesn't matter the order that these white wires are connected to on the inputs because you can configure those in software later. Using one of the red and black cables that you kept from the beginning of this video, Separate the two wires and just keep the red. You're going to use this wire to connect from the positive from the battery to the VCC on the motor controller. Cut the middle two pins. So now it should look like that. Take your fifth peripheral cable, cut the end off, strip away the red and black, trim the end, and make the end trimmed longer than you normally would. Tin the end of this.
pin the ends of the pins. You are now going to solder across between the two pins. Strip off the excess. So now you should have all of the input pins connected to signal wires that are connected to the EZB and the enable pins are connected to one single white wire which is going to connect to a pulse width modulation port on the EZB. For pulse width modulation, which is going to be now speed control for the motors, I'm going to connect that to any of the digital pins and I'm going to just choose D8. Now I can apply power to the EZB. And in my software, I can configure the pins used for the input here to the H-bridge, and I can configure the pulse width using a pulse width control for D8. The higher the pulse width, the faster the motor is going to turn. I'm going to add an H-bridge control to move the motor. I just have one motor hooked up to this H-bridge, but that'll do. Now, by default, when you push configure, it's going to give you the ports. I have the H-bridge currently plugged into these ports already, so I've preset that. Now, when I add the control for the PWM, what we can do now is we can pulse the input signals on the H-bridge itself. So we're actually going to be able to control the speed now. So, if I put this on full throttle, now, when I adjust the speed, I can speed it up and I can slow it all the way down. 